Hey YouTube, this is Mega Dweezil coming at you from the great Indiana wilderness and uh, I'll tell you a story today in line with some of the stuff I've been talking about in other videos, you know, as far as preppers and people bugging out into the countryside to meet the simple farming folk and, uh, you know, and just what a gun will get you. Um, so here we go. September 7th, 1876 was the day and uh, the town was a place called Northfield, Minnesota. And there was an interesting group of people in town that day. The uh, James Younger gang. And uh, history said a lot about these people. They were guerrillas on the Confederate side during the uh, Civil War. And fought with Quantrell and Anderson. And uh, after the war, they had continued their career as some would say terrorists, some would say gangsters, there were some that would say freedom fighters, uh, basically robbing uh, railroads and the banks. And uh, these were very experienced, very expert gunmen. Uh, they were expert at avoiding pursuit. Uh, they were long riders. They could uh, spend days in the saddle and uh, they were also expert gunmen and had a fearsome reputation uh, at that particular time. And they rode into Northfield, Minnesota that day to, uh, to rob the bank and the next day uh, were either dead, scattered, or captured. And Northfield, Minnesota was basically a little old farm town. Uh, there was nobody around but shopkeepers and farmers and uh, and uh, despite the fact that uh, that these guys were you know very heavily armed and expert with their weapons and seasoned veterans of combat both you know during the Civil War and during criminal activities uh, what happened was three of them went into the bank and five of them stayed outside to lay down suppressive fire and when the party started Every Norwegger and square head in Northfield, Minnesota, reached behind his door, got his squirrel gun, and made it on out to the street. And they were, uh, basically the streets were sealed, the alleys were sealed, and the James Younger gang was shot to pieces. There's very little evidence that Jesse James was actually there that day. Frank was verifiably there and did manage to escape. However, all the Younger brothers were severely wounded, Cole seven times and uh, fetched up in prison. I said all that to say this, okay. Um, these were very seasoned warriors. Uh, these were very seasoned gunmen. They were expert riders. They were, in short, you know, uh, guys who, in most situations, you would think amongst a bunch of, you know, basically peaceful civilians, would be really hell on wheels. And they were cut to pieces, you know, mostly because the uh, population of Northfield, Minnesota, uh, most of the adult males had served in the Civil War. Um, and they weren't afraid of guns, you know. Yeah, they were farmers, you know, and they weren't looking for any trouble. Um, but when trouble came their way, they knew exactly what to do about it. You know, this is a this is a, a real cautionary tale for uh, folks that think that they're gonna, you know, in a without rule of law kind of situation, go out and make their way with a gun. Is uh, you know, you may know who you are, all right, but uh, as with Northfield, you know, sometimes you don't know, you know exactly what you're headed into, and. Uh, you know, to be a prepper doesn't give you any special permission. It doesn't give you a license. It doesn't give you a badge, okay? You're one more guy with a gun, and a lot of people got guns. So, uh, you know, before we go out, you know, seeking that oh fuck moment, you know, where we're going to, you know, throw our weight around and point a gun at people, remember Northfield. Don't worry, YouTube.